It is a bold new day for people living with spinal cord injury. After decades of diligent research and effort from dedicated volunteers and staff, the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation embarks on a bold new plan. Over the years, they have raised $130 million to help people living with SCI across the world. The result? A breakthrough therapy, epidural stimulation, and a business partnership to bring it to market. The bold idea that we had was that we were going to lean forward, that we were going to actually put money on the table and direct it. Our goal is to make the, the right investments to put any field of research and for this first, first focus of neuromodulation. The RE Foundation found calls for hope with epidural stimulation. The first four participants in a study conducted by Dr. Reggie Edgerton from UCLA and Dr. Susan Harkema from the University of Louisville showed surprisingly strong results. Epidural stimulation is the application of a continuous electrical current at varying frequencies and intensities to specific locations on the lower part of the spinal cord. It's an implantable device about the same size as a pacemaker or internal cardiac defibrillator with an electrode on the end of it. A very thin, flexible electrode. We'll take that, we'll slip it under the vertebrae right down in the lower part of the spine and we'll give the patient a wireless controller and we will test different different types of stimulation patterns. While the first four participants in the experiment did not achieve the stepping goal yet as originally hoped, they did achieve the ability to bear weight and recover voluntary movements in the legs, hips, knees, ankles and toes in the early stages of the trial. Inspired by the results of the first trial, the foundation was motivated to accelerate its work. The Edgerton team developed another form of neuromodulation called transcutaneous stimulation with NRT team, which has the potential to have similar results. The foundation turned to Presidio Partners and invested in neuro recovery technologies in November of 2016. NRT is a company that came out of the collaborative efforts of Caltech, UCLA, University of Louisville. Neuro Recovery Technologies seeks to commercialize and make readily available these two new medical devices to help people with paralysis. NRT is led by top business executives and experts. For years, the company has successfully developed and marketed medical device products and ushered them through the regulatory process. We want to engage other philanthropists. We want to engage um, other venture capitalists. This is a very, this is one of the most exciting things um, that is out there. And imagine being part of something that is actually going to change people's lives in dramatic, incredible ways. They see great potential for those with stroke, uh, potentially uh, cerebral palsy. There is the potential to benefit um, a much larger group of individuals, those with just some degree of mobility impairment for whatever reason it may be. From idea to action to impact, it is a journey which can take years or decades. But with the efforts of many good people, the diligence of researchers, and the skills of business to produce and distribute this breakthrough device, the day may soon be at hand when we will realize Christopher's dream, a world without wheelchairs. Join with us and contribute to the Reeve Foundation today.